All right, hello folks. Uh, on this edition of the Drunken Upholster, I'm going to show you how to cut foam and cover it for a cushion. Okay, we've got a piece of foam right here. we got some courage right here. And what I use, um, I generally use a, a Sharpay or a Sharpie to mark my foam. And when you're cutting, you, you're going to measure your cushion let's say your, your cushion's 24 inches, uh, then you want to cut the foam a little larger, maybe 24 and a half, maybe even 25, but you want it a little larger so it, it fills it in. I do about a half an inch because I end up wrapping it in Daycron, which adds some more to it. So on this one, we're just going to cut a little piece and I'm going to show you what I do. So you, it's pretty obvious, you measure it out, we're going to go 12 inches and 12 inches and make your line and because I'm a professional upholsterer I have a professional foam saw. Now if you're at home you're probably not going to have a $500 foam saw so you, one of those electric carving knives actually works fairly well so you could use one of them. Now this thing's kind of loud so because of safety and I want to save what little hearing I have left, put these on. All right, see how nice that is? Gives you a nice cut. So we can set that aside. This is going to be our pseudo cushion. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it in Daycron. I normally always wrap a cushion in Daycron. It gives it a nice rounder edge. It takes that hardness of the foam away. It gives a little crowning to the cushion. Um, it helps quite a bit. And I, I glue it on um, with a foam glue. And this one's one I had. It's not the best kind of like cami, but this one will work. And you just, you want to put it on there on the foam and you also put it on the Daycron and you can wait you know you can hesitate a few seconds let it get tacky and then you put it on and you're good to go it's it's on there and what what I do is you know I have it draped down the side um, on some applications I would generally cover everything with the Daycron um, so that all sides, top and bottom, are cushioned out with this, with the Daycron. And sometimes when you go to stick this back into your fabric cushion, it won't go in good. So this is called slip ease, cushion ease, comes 36 inches wide on a roll. And you're just going to wrap your cushion with that. And it, it's amazing and it makes it go in there really, really easily saves you a lot of work and saves ripping the cushion apart forcing it in and sometimes when uh, when you've done a cushion the corner corners don't come out that well there's a little void in there so what I do with with that is I'll take a little a little bit of this Daycron this type of a Daycron and I'll put it right in there. And you see how it fills that in and nice, fills it in better. Takes away that bump or that void. Makes it look good. Yeah. So, you know, this one now looks like that one. And it looks more professional. You can see how this one was made. Same idea. You get the Daycron on the top, covers the foam. And a lot of times they leave the back undone so you know the zipper doesn't hook in it and and then you're good to go all right and that's a quickie dicky way to show you how to make a foam cushion cut it stick it in and cover it up have a good day like us subscribe and uh, any comments would be appreciated and uh, have a great day 
and have a great beer.